Hey guys, it's Jan, also known as Unbluster, and today we are going to unbox something very special. Something very rare and super limited in terms of the amount of people who have it. As far as I know, there are very few people who have this, or maybe this is even one of a kind. I am not 100% sure, but as you can see, this is from Enomoto. The, um, the people who are near Tokyo, as you can see, Hachioji. Tokyo and they are the guys who make the tools some of those um, interesting um, like wheel piercers and then like shaft checkers and stuff like that these are the guys who make them and if you've been uh, doing many four-wheel drive for a while you've probably heard of these guys these are probably one of the best and essentially um, DXN has like a really good um, working relationship with uh, Enomoto and every year um, it's tradition in Japan to send like postcards or like presents to each other during New Year's. It's like a birthday present type of thing. And it's, you know, pretty cool tradition. And um, DXN sent them something for New Year's. I honestly don't recall what it was. But from what I can tell, um, it was impressive enough that Mr. Onomoto himself um, sent him a really good return present in exchange. So this is, as you can see, from Japan. Um, Japan Post and then let's go ahead and take a look at what's inside this box. I'm not going to show you this flap. Um, this has like address and like personal information from Enomoto himself. So let's let's go ahead and set this aside and uh, I have not opened this. And from what I can tell from the message is that um, it says uh, instead of a New Year's card I made a mini four-wheel drive that is an image of the Tokyo sky from Mount Takao in Hachioji. So maybe this is uh, Mount Takao. I'm not 100% sure right here. Maybe this has something tied to the year because I know there's always a different like zodiac year um, for every year. So um, if you guys know Japanese and can read this, if you can at least translate this for us. I mean, I could use the app, but I don't want to. I'm just unboxing this gold and I have not gotten past this card yet and there's uh, some of this stuff around here oh geez oh my god what is going on okay so I think I'm it's better if I use this to lift the kit out of the box there you go wow it feels a lot like a like a bento package if you go for it's still sealed. Oh my goodness. It's not opened yet. Am I so am I supposed to open this? Scott didn't tell me this was still sealed. Oh my goodness. Wow. All right, so yeah. This reminds me this thing reminds me of like when I would see people in anime um go to like a picnic they would take like a like a cloth with them something that looks a little bit like this and they would wrap uh, wrap their lunch or their um snacks in them and then they would hang out underneath like a sakura tree with the cherry blossoms falling all over all around them so yeah am i supposed to open this oh man oh no Hold on, guys. I'm going to have to cut and get a knife. This is sealed in plastic, as you can see. And it looks like there's an image of a custom mini four-wheel drive made by Enomoto himself over here. That's cool. Wow. Look at this, guys. Have you guys seen anything like this in mini four-wheel drive ever? For me, this is the first time. And this is a, that's a wood box a wood case and that's like uh looks like it's lasered in and a moto symbol so i'm gonna go get a knife and uh cut through this thing all right okay guys so i spent like five minutes looking for you know like a knife that i could use to cut into the uh the shrink wrap but uh good thing i looked in the back there's actually a pull tab that's that's really cool so yeah um we're gonna go ahead and start uh 
unwrapping this thing. It seems kind of wrong for me to unwrap it, but you know. Scott and DXN gave me the blessing, so we're gonna go ahead and um, unbox this thing. I'm gonna try not to ruin the, oh no. That's a pretty crazy knot they put there. Okay, so you guys will see me perhaps struggle slightly undoing this uh, this tie that they put on. Okay, so that wasn't as terrible as I thought it would be. Okay, so yeah, um, from what I've been told, it was essentially given back as like a gift to DXN as well in response to what they were given in New Year's. Um, so we're gonna go ahead and take a look at what's inside from what I'm guessing is that uh, there's a custom made like kit inside or just a like an upgraded piece uh, like pieces of kit. If you look at the image right there, there's a uh, probably the example of the car that we're what we're gonna see, but never in this sort of presentation before. So let's go ahead and take this and use the pull tab. That's actually really convenient that they put this here. I'm guessing in Japanese that says tear or like pull or something like that. So that's what we are going to do. My goodness. Have you guys seen anything like this? I bet you have not. Wow. That's crazy. So essentially this is the, the wood box. And this is the the art or the the art the image of the car that's in it oh there's two different versions this one is has black wheels and black tires this one has like a large diameter wheel with purple tires so pretty interesting design let's look at what's inside i wonder if this is a kit we're gonna find out together wow oh my god it's a kit what it's a kit that comes with a custom made box too <laughs> that's awesome wow that that's awesome holy oh hold on hold on it's lifting out of the box at the same time let's stick it out so it is a kit okay so it's basically like a custom part picked uh kit so let's set this box over here so that we don't damage that and then look at this so yeah it was from they were just talking about that the skies of um uh, mount uh, takao in hachioji as you can see there you go there's a skyline right there <laughs> there's this a, there's a tiny chicken on the upper left on the branch on the tree well, that's very cool. As you can see, Hachioji, Tokyo, Japan, right there. And that looks like the the actual end product of the kit if you were to build it. So, all right. So let's go ahead and take a look at what's what else is inside. <coughs> Sorry, let's put this here so the camera can see it. So, so it looks like it comes with quite a few different things. So the Neo Falcon clear body set too. So that's the body that was included in this kit. And then let's look at, oh, so there's variations. So there's a second type of kit out there too. I think, um, oh no, there's a variation of the build if you wanna change it up. I get it now. Okay, so there's this a purple, purple and orange um, low friction uh, roller set, 15381. And this is given to them free, essentially, right here. And then what else is here? Um, these are the gears, of course. Three point, uh, looks like it's a 3.5 to 1 purple pinions as well. Very good. Let's see what else is in here. Oh, it, yeah, this one baffles me a little bit that this is separate, but it looks like it wasn't in here when it was uh, made. I don't know if the shafts are normal. They look like their stock shafts maybe slightly different from color 
right? It's not gold-ish. It's more silvery. So those shafts might not be um, a normal shaft. These look like the eyelets that come with the, the kit normally, but they're not included in here in the hardware, which is a little weird. That's interesting. Okay. Hmm. And then here you get the the hard large diameter purple tires right there and then I don't know if these are slicks are these slicks it comes with slicks too so you, you can get you get the two different wheel sets right here very cool so these are the slick tires that are included just a regular slick so they have the extra grip and then essentially like a custom um, set of parts basically this is purple um, the purple a parts um, if you if you buy these separately these come in a pack of the purple and the the green I think or fluorescent green uh, a parts um, looks like they were separated um, with the way that Enomoto handles parts they order so much stuff that they what they usually do is that they separate parts and they um, sell parts individually so if you want to buy just the ms pro you can go to enomoto and then just like okay i want black ones i want purple i want green so over there they can do that um, they already have that separated and if you want this a specific color they can do that for you already so that's not really an issue so that's why these guys um that's why enomoto is able to do this type of stuff they can split these kits they can still sell the whole kits complete or they can individually sell you the chassis parts specifically so like this is the um, abs ms pro so you can see it's full doesn't have the lightweight tabs and then right here the n n01 and t01 uh, n02 sorry the n01 was a little different in shape right here this is the n02 and then as you can see the t01 the same old tail that was uh, used so pretty good a all ABS as well ABS is a little bit better for the flex I think that's why um, this was set there and then this is the uh, Y spoke wheels from what I can tell this is the plastic ones right there this is the plastic ones these are the grayish ones yep right there very interesting set of parts that he chose to include and then these are the white uh, plastic five spokes right there. Very cool. Okay, I wonder what else is in here. Like I see here that there's some additional information. Published by Enomoto. Oh, okay. So this is essentially what the um, what it should look like um, for the directions and how to put the stickers on. And they have they have their own custom sticker set that you can use that is awesome look at that there's the tower wow on the sticker sheet that is that's cool hop step jump that's pretty funny wow and the moto branding all over the place this is this is essentially one of the rarest kits that you can get and basically the only way to get it is to be friends with Enomoto and if you're not in friendly or like a professional relationship with Enomoto you aren't getting one of these all right so let's set that here that's cool and then this is just like the the rising edge uh, remaining um, what do you call it manual that's included in the kit so all right i mean this isn't a kit that i can honestly say that i can give a grade other than there's the only grade that i can give you um essentially collectability um because you cannot pay for this you are only given this by enomoto himself um Basically, you have to be one of his friends or uh, one of his professional contacts, essentially, probably. That's what I'm guessing. At least if I were Enomoto and I had the exact same amount of acclaim or like um, provenance, I would say, 
um, that's what I would do if I was if I was if I had the means to be able to give kits like this out to people I would only give them to my friends or to people that I you know hold in like high professional regard so at least that's at least what I would do so just to make it a lot less um, attainable just make it rare essentially um, if I was gonna rate this in collectability I don't know I'll probably give it like I don't know a hundred because yeah this isn't my kit this is for DXN provisions this is for Scott the owner so he is one of the few people who has the opportunity and he's lucky that he was able to get one of these uh, given to him oh I've already gotten the order of the uh, what do you call it the sticker here let's lift this and then we'll slide the sticker out here underneath right there perfect so yeah a total score of uh, 100 because you cannot pay for this so there's no actual normal value essentially priceless so you cannot use that for the grade um, <coughs> Normal circumstances do not apply essentially here, so that's what we've got going on for this kit. All right, guys, so thanks for watching, and let's thank uh, DXN Provisions and Scott for allowing us to take a look at what else is inside this kit. And it's just pretty cool because, like, look at this. They even made like a, a different uh, cover for the kit. It's just a cover, a cardboard cover too, so it just goes over it. And then the same thing here, so you get the two different variations of uh, what you could do for what it looks like. Right there. You get the, the white wheels on the purple hard tires, or you can get the, uh, the gray wheels with the black slicks. And that's pretty cool. Alright guys, thanks for watching. If you'd like to see more videos like this, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. And thanks for watching. Go race.